how to format a new label in custom Quick Label software. This video will demonstrate how you can use the Label Setup Wizard to format a blank label in custom Quick Label Omni software. We'll take you through the steps to create a new blank label with all of the requisite size and formatting information. When we're done, you'll be ready to import graphics or type text into your label format. Let's begin by double-clicking on the CQL Create icon on your desktop to open the program. The Label Setup Wizard will launch. Click on Create a New Label. The first screen is for Label Description. This is a good place to leave a note about this label that will be visible to anyone who uses this software. Filling it in is completely optional, and we'll leave it blank. Click Next. Then, choose Chiaro from the drop-down list of label printer models. Click on the Properties button. Here is where you will set the label parameters. We'll leave Print Quality Default at Best, and we'll leave Rotation Default at Zero. We'll leave Speed Default at Auto, because this ensures that your Chiaro will print at its top print speed of 8 inches per second, while allowing the printer to automatically slow down if the printheads ever become overheated or if your Chiaro needs to process a large amount of data. Copies is where you should enter the number of labels you'd like to print. It can be any number. Vertical horizontal offset should be set to the default of zero to start off with. You may need to change this setting when you actually print your labels. Click Next. The next screen is Select Label Type. Choose Media Type from the drop-down list. Media Type is printed on the label roll and refers to the substrate onto which you will print labels. In this case, let's say we have a roll of 160 high-gloss paper. For Sensor Type, select Gap if you have a standard gap label, Reflective if you have a reflective label with a black mark on the liner, or none for continuous material with no die cut. In this case, let's say we have a standard gap label. For label shape, you can choose either fillet, square with right angle corners, or circle for rounded shapes including ovals. In this case, we'll choose fillet, which is a rectangle with rounded corners. For supply, leave the option defaulted to internal roll then click Next. On this screen, you will set the label size. We'll get the values for each required field from the label roll itself. Each value is printed on the label on the cardboard core of your label roll. In our example, we have a 3 inch by 4 inch label roll. So, we'll set label width to 3 inches, label length to 4 inches, Maximum printable width will be set to 3 inches. Maximum printable length will be set to 4 inches. Total width will be set to 3.125 inches. This is the total construction width. The additional 0.125 inches includes the width of the exposed liner around the die cut label. Left and top offsets will be set to zero. Gap mark length will also be set to 0.125 inches. This is the standard distance between labels on the liner, and it matches our example of a 3 inch by 4 inch gap label. Click Next. The Multiple Label Layout screen is next. Because we're designing a format for just one label across the web, you can click Next. The next screen is Viewing Orientation. You have the option to set a margin, but usually it's easier if we start out with no margin, so we'll change them all to zero. You will then decide if you're going to be printing in portrait or landscape orientation. Click Next. Print Settings is the next screen. This is where you will decide your print orientation, either zero or 180 degrees. This is the direction that your design will face when it's printed. We'll choose the default of zero. This is also where you can decide whether to apply overbleed. You can choose whether or not you would like to apply an overbleed to vertical, horizontal, left, and right. 
These overbleed settings will determine where the Chiaro crops your artwork when it prints. You should choose this option if you want to print full bleed labels with content printed from edge to edge of your label shape. These settings help to avoid having a white, unprinted area at the edge of your label caused by too little overbleed or excess ink printed on the liner caused by too much overbleed. One important note, when you design your label content, please be sure that the size of your content is at least 0.1 inches wider and longer than your overbleed settings. The final screen shows you a summary of all your selections. If you'd like to make a change, please hit the back button and edit your choices. If you'd like to approve these options, just click Finish. You've just completed the entire label setup wizard. In the future, when you become familiar with these options, you may want to skip this wizard. For now, you're ready to move on and add content to your blank label.